Amanda. Amanda. Long live the struggling working class. Long live. Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. The General Secretary of CITU, the President of CITU, the leadership of CITU in different levels. On behalf of WFTU, the 97 million in the world, we are bringing greetings and revolutionary greetings to you. We are pleased, comrade, to be together with you. We are pleased to experience and witness the powerful organization of your trade union and your commitment. We are aware of your challenges. We are aware of your workplace challenges. We are aware of your political challenges. And we're saying to you, the solution to those problems is the unity of workers. In South Africa, we're using a slogan that says, any injury to one is any injury to all. This is a slogan for solidarity. Solidarity must not be experienced at the international level. Solidarity must start at home. The working class of India must pay solidarity to one another. When other factory on strike, the other factory must support those on strike in solidarity. Comrades, you may be white in color, you may be purple in color, you may be blue in color, you may be yellow in color, you may be black in color, but you are a worker. Some be, maybe you are a Christian, maybe you are a Muslim, maybe you are a Hindu, but what remains, you are a worker. You're most, you're, you being Muslim, for you being Hindu, for you being Christian, it doesn't mean that when boss exploit you, they exploit you different on difference of your religion. They exploit you exactly the same. So corporate less debate. There is no politically organization in the world that can obtain power if that organization is not voted for by workers. How is it possible that you have voted for racist organization, that you voted for people who want to divide you? I want to suggest to the Communist Party of India, and I hope that the leadership of the Communist Party of India is present, that your relationship with working class must or not taking place only when there's a voting period. Your relationship with working class must always be the priority. Because your responsibility politically is to defend the interest of the working class. That is your consequence. That is a class that must occupy your care. How do we explain this comrade? That in our union were millions of members. But when the voting come, our party only does not even make 2%. What happened to the membership of our unions? Is it because you are Hindu? Is it because you are Muslim? Is it because you are Christian? What about your class? You should not vote for religion. You should not vote for Christian. But you, when you do so, as a class, that organization of the working class will protect your interest. Comrade, I am sorry if this is taboo in India. To me, it's not taboo. I have a class. I'm a worker. I want a party organization. I want communist. I want socialist to make sure that I'm not retrenched. I'm saying I am sorry. If such language is not welcome in India, I am sorry to put it to you. I'm telling you I'm a worker. I have a class, I have an interest, and I want an organization that protects my interest. I want to challenge the unions of India, especially those who believe in Marxists, especially those who believe that there's a class. I want to challenge the Communist Party of India, I want to challenge each and every worker 
who wake up in the morning and go to work and sell his labor or her labor in exchange of wages that you must think again you must put your religious aside you must respect your class you must protect your class as WFTU we believe that there's an alternative to the, to, the, to the capitalist barbaric. We believe that we must have a society that where there is no man oppressed by man. We believe that people must be equal. We believe that workers must be able to control the economy. We believe that workers and economy belongs to them. And we believe that education must be free. We believe that health must be free. For that to happen, you need a working class organization. And so far, we have not seen any other working class organization except communist. Remain in your religious as a Christian. Remain with your religious as a Muslim. Remain with your religious as a Hindu. But you must make sure that your class is a priority because your class take your school, your child to school, your class take you to hospital, your class takes your grandmother to hospital. We don't need to be friends because we have the same religion. We don't need to sit together because we have same religion. But we need to sit together because both of us, we are workers. We need to sit together because both of us were exploited by capitalists. Once again, thank you for your hospitality. And thank you for welcoming us. And thank you for listening to us. And thank you for calling, inviting us into your conference. Uh, we saying to you, we together with you. And WFTU will always be together with the working class. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.